What is going on there guys? Welcome back to a brand new FIFA 23 series. What is the FIFA World Cup mode? And we are here. We're going to be going through the entire stage and basically going to try and win. Uh, I'm going to have one good playthrough of this. I'm going to show you everything. I'm so excited for this. I'm really, really excited to see how this is going to go. Obviously, I am English, so I am going to be taking my home, well, my country of England to the World Cup. However, there we go. So, they've only ever won the World Cup once in their history, and that was in 1966. It has never come home since. We came close to bringing the European Trophy home uh, a couple of years ago. So, so close. We're back in Qatar to try and reclaim the World Cup. So here we go. We This is what we've got. We are England. We're going to be playing as England. We're going to be doing the group stage first. So obviously in our group we've got Iran, USA and we're, we're playing every single game. We're not missing about. Unless obviously we get to the last group game. Maybe I'll visually submit or play the highlights, something like that, whatever, but we'll do that, that's what we're going to do, so we're going to get straight into this, so as it says, welcome to the world's biggest stage, the World Cup, you can't get much bigger than this, so I'm really excited, let's go! Okay guys, so this is the team I have built. This is basically, this is my, this is the team basically, apart from the odd player, I'd start. This is what I'd start. Obviously we're starting off with Pickford in goal. E, especially in an England shirt, always seems to play well. So I can't really say much about him. Trippier, I think he deserves a lot. Of, even though he's not got the pace, I'm going to start him for his first game to see how he does. If he doesn't do that well, I might put Walker in there. But we've still got Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. Uh, I promise, to be honest, I might. I might, to be honest. I mean, to be honest, both Walker and Alexander-Arnold haven't had the best of, of years. But you know what? One person going, Reese James, they're way more deserving. So, I can always put Reese James in there. I've got one person on the bench. But I've got John Stones and Tomorrow. Honestly, I think they're probably one of the better centre-backs we can put out there. Maybe Ben White, but Ben White's not even... Here. Got Eric Dyer, but no, we've not got no, no Ben White, and I'd have had him. Uh, we've got Luke Shaw, I would prefer him over Chilwell. Raheem Sterling on the left, Rice and Bellingham holding that midfield, with Saka on the right hand of the midfield, and then Foden as a number 10. I'm going to try him out there, see how he does. I've also got Grealish and Man who all can play occupy that number 10 spot. And we've obviously got the captain, Harry Kane, up front. So that is what we're going to go with. We've got Abraham on the bench. We've got, we've got Maguire as the high-rated centre-back. Um, we have got other players, but most of the players they've actually given me are players who are not even going to the World Cup. Well, it's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. But it's relatively close. I mean, tomorrow he should be going to the World Cup. And I have absolutely no clue how he is not going to that World Cup. But... We're taking him in our save. So that's what we're going to do. So we have got our first game. This is going to, by the way, the way I'm going to structure this series is I'm probably going to do this in two parts. So basically the group stage is going to be in one, one part. And then in the second video is going to be basically the knockouts. If we get there, obviously. I would hope we should. But we're going to do this and we're going to get into this game. And we're going to play around. In the, it's actually the stadium as well, it's really, really cool. So let's get into this, guys. I, this is the first time, the first game I'm playing of this World Cup, not touched it. So you guys are experiencing it at the same time as me. 
really excited to see how this game this game mode is can we take England to the final can we get them at World Cup The only thing I wish we did properly is the national anthem, especially the mode. I don't know if it is on next gen, I'm not on next gen, just so you know, but so Pickford is in goal. We have got a backline of Shaw, Tamori, Stones and Trippier. Decent backline if I say so. Sterling, Rice, Bellingham, Saka in the, in the midfield in the four, and then Foden in the number ten. And then we've got the big boy captain up front in Harry Kane. Can he get himself going in this first game? That is what we need, is getting our strikers going. We're going to have a little look at this Iran team, see what we're working with. I will be rotating the side, obviously, to give other players chances and see what we're working with. But it all depends. It's all looking good so far, though. I like the graphics of it all. I like it all, the Iran players have got all like in generic boots. I can't say I know many who are on the bench. Um, not really any round players at the back I can recognise. Um, Yahan Bak, he used to play for Brighton, I believe. And Asmoon, he, I'm pretty sure he's a pretty decent player. But here we go. England kick off their World Cup campaign against Iran. In Qatar. Can we take him there? Let's find out. Bellingham does well there and gets it out to Foden. Foden can take on the Iran defence. He's holding it up nicely here. And he gets through it through to Bellingham. And he's waiting for it. And it's Kane! Kane with the first goal of the World Cup for England! Bellingham with the assist! The man from Birmingham with the assist, and it's the man from Spurs! It's not the cleanest of goals, it's not the best, it's not a screamer, but it is a simple tapping for the captain, the Hurricane. Is he going to lead England to the World Cup Finals? We will go out and find out, but we have dominated the open procedures of this game. And it's Bellingham! Oh, he took the shot. Still throwing with the corner. And he's got it on the right on the button for the captain, Hurricane! Let's go, ladies and gents. The World Cup is starting in style. Foden with an inch perfect. The goalkeeper looked like he was going to come, but then didn't. He just stuck to his position, and it made it so easy for Harry Kane. He was already in front. He didn't really have to do anything. It was such an easy goal. What is the around defence doing there? Just not picking him up, not being aggressive, and that costs them. They are 2-0 down in the first 20 minutes and England showing their teeth in the first game. Oh, Harry Kane again there. So dominant in the air. John Stone misses that challenge. Oh, Pickford had to make a save there. Bellingham's going to get out again. Oh, Harry Kane couldn't quite get that fed through from, from Phil Foden. Oh, what is that? That is... That is some questionable stuff there. Iran get a goal. Look at this. It's a ball through. I, that is... That ball was there to be won by Tamori. And it, it just went past him. It's, it's a weird animation from... Ah, oh, it's just... It is what it is. Come on, second half. We need to keep going. Start how we did last time, because we just sort of lost a little bit of... bit of momentum. We got a bit of a lucky goal. But again, we did. We should have defended a lot better. Jan back gets the better of Shaw that time. 
Tomorrow is fouling them. They've got a really big opportunity here, Ran. Oh, and it worked out well, Iran. We've got to be careful here. Yeah. We're, we're really struggling to get the ball back from around when they got it. The Arsenal man is running down the right hand right wing here. He's going to get a corner, but people need to get into the box a little bit quicker than they are. And it's Harry Kane! He's done it again! And he's going to be going into the next game with a hat trick. He's taking the ball home. The first game of the World Cup. And he's got himself a hat trick. What a performance by the captain. I told you, for us to have a chance at this World Cup, we need him to be scoring. And he is. What a player is Harry Kane is. What a player. Oh, we've got lucky there. Oh, my God. They've just got an absolute worldie. He saw him powering up, but we had an absolutely zero chance. I mean, where is my, what is my midfielders doing? Why are they not coming back? As Moon, the Bale Leverkusen man, just absolutely flashed that into the top bins. And this game is not over when it really, really should be. Oh my god. What in the world is happening? Tomorrow he gets he didn't jump. He went behind it. How have we messed this up? There's no effort to get up front at all. And I can't believe we have just bottled that. I can't believe we've just bottled that. That referee can go and... You know what? Because honestly, that, that seemed like they were getting fouls right, left and centre, breaking up the game. But as well, I need to look at something because honestly, any time I got into my wingers, there was nobody getting forward. So game two guys, here we go, I've tweaked some of the instructions just to say we need to be getting more players forward but there was absolutely, we just, they only had a few shots but just every shot they were having it was devastating, especially as Moon, he was just absolutely devastating but uh, we're going to get straight into this game, the second group game of the World Cup, let's see if we can finally get a win, we need to get a win. I think if we get a win, we get we put our one foot into the finals. Getting no time on his ball. What the hell? What is that, Bellingham? Jesus Christ, mate! Go on, Bellingham. Sacha, oh Saka, close as we've come first thing we've been able to do all game it's Luke Shaw 
Tamori! Oh! We've really put a few, few big shots in there on Zach Steffen. Oh, Hurricane. Oh, Foden's been found brilliant by Bellingham. And now it's Phil Foden. He can't finish it again. And Declan Rice is going to go for England against the USA. Finally, our pressure pays. We needed that. Come on, boys. Zach Steffen has been having one of the best games of his career, but we stop it in the, him in his path. Beautiful little pass from Foden, and then Rice just had to finish it off. Not the play I really wanted to, but he, he was there. What is that? That is terrible defending. There is no excuse for that. What is this? He's just walked through him here, Tamori. And jump stones. Absolute pathetic. That is just an absolutely pathetic display from Tamori and Stones. Sterling and Kane. Kane with an absolute peach over the over the over the top there. Look at that. The vision. And then Sterling with a finish. Making no mistake, and we get Ali right back after half time. Ah, oh, and I tried to get out into the middle there. Good bit of movement there. And now it's Saka. Can he pull his back? No, he can't. Pulls it back now. And it's Phil Foden! That should seal it. We've got a two-goal lead. We can't let this go now. Come on. Big, big goal. We'll bring another midfield to try and... That's what we needed. It's been a really, really tough game, this. Really, really tough. God, and we just absolutely cut us to shreds there. Nothing much we can do about that. Come on, boys. It's not brilliant, but we get a 3 2 win over USA. We need to be a bit more dominant than this. We really do. So possibly one of the biggest matches of the group is against Wales, our neighbours. All we need is minimum, well at most, all we need is a draw. That's all we need. But I want to finish this group strong, I want to finish top. It's first against second, and oh my god, they're fucking in the same kit. Jesus Christ. Whatever, let's get on with it. Team up a bit. Mason Mount comes in and scores his first World Cup goal. 
So good finish as well. No chance for the goalkeeper. Now Sterling's in. Ah, oh, and Kane's got it back. Makes a mount. Oh, he saw the goal before he could get to it. And it's Kane. This is more like it. Fluid attacking threat 24 7. That is what I want from this team. This is a good little move here. Sterling into Kett, into Rise and Kane, and bang. Goal, goal, goal. That is what I want. I want a solid performance where we're absolutely destroying the team. Nicky Williams can't deal with Saka now. Saka's in. Saka just won a penalty. Meppen forces it. It's saved by Ward. It's not the best of penalties from Kane. And still, you know, oh my god, it's peppering Ward's goal right now. Luke Shaw! Side with Molly. What a performance is his by England. Look at this. What a hit. An acrobatic effort from the left back. You don't expect it. And that should seal the top spot for us as well at the top of the group. I mean, technically, I think we're on the same point. So whoever is in third, with us beating them this badly, if they beat. If a round B, USA, or vice versa. Oh my God, we are absolutely tearing Wales a new one. What a finish by Mason Mount as well. Major shot we've had. Well, that's bloody hell, Pickford. You've got to help me out, out a little bit. It's an old goal as well by Trippier. Harry Kane, Rice. Not particularly good enough in the second half, lads, really. Hurricane! There it is, Hurricane! Let's jump to result. I think Pat's. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. But we're gonna jump to result. Should be alright. 6 1 in the end. Kane actually got a hat another hat trick. His second hat trick. Six goals already. And look about we finished top with zero losses. Very, very nice. Let's see who we're gonna get in the next round. It is Senegal. Wow, but that's who we're going to get. So the round of 16. So Netherlands have already played USA and they've got one through on penalties. So the rest of the round of 16, we get Senegal. So to be honest, we've been quite fortunate, to be fair. But still, still not the easiest of teams to go up against. So we'll be picking this up in the next part. Well, obviously, this is only a two-part 
series. So in next in next part, we'll be seeing if we can make it the whole way. We'll play in the Senegal game. We'll see how we go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next part. Until next time, I've been Hawkeye Punisher. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye. See you later, guys.